Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Alan, and today we got another NASCAR diecast review. And um, I've actually already unboxed it because, well, there you go, you can see it's Corey LaJoy's Wave 10 Darlington throwback, uh, Keen Parts um, car for Go Fast Racing, which is looks really cool. Um, Yeah, we don't, you know, you don't see Go Fast Racing very often in these lineups, but when it comes to the net, to the Darlington throwbacks, we've gotten three of them, and this is the third one. Um, I have, I think, the other two, one of which is a th number 32 um, car, the Otter Pops car, and I'm not sure what the other one is, but anyway... First of all, now the reason why it's already unboxed is because I was in the middle of filming this. I got my tablet sitting next to me or whatever, and for some reason the internet kept kicking out. I don't know why, so I was dealing with that for a minute. And so I had basically just scrapped the previous video, the, the original uh, filming of this episode, or yeah, and then um, just started over. But anyway, so here you go. And we'll look at the hood first. If I try to have to, you know, be with the camera here. Uh, by the way, if you like this content, um, you know, please uh, ah crap, god damn it, please subscribe, drop a like on this video as well. Um, I just reached 100 subs, which I'm really happy about. Also, really happy about this hood. Holy crap, that looks, that just looks awesome. Not gonna lie, but. One sec. Sorry, it's going on. Okay. So here we go. Just take a look at this thing. I mean, honestly, the car just looks. I mean. Yeah, well, you know, what the heck. Alright, you know, I got a paint chip right there. Right where my thumb is. Or right before it. But, I mean, there's not really a whole lot of issues, at least when it comes to looking at this from the right, the left side and the front and the back. Um, well, we'll get to the back in a moment. But yeah, the front actually looks really good. I think think no I no I think that's actually pretty accurate I don't think the the uh, the four grill is um, screwed up in any way I almost thought it was but it's not thank God we have no roof cave-ins or whatever see come on Lionel but uh yeah um just want to look on the other underside because I yeah, that's what I thought I saw. What the hell? They got white paint on the bottom of the wheel. What? <laughs> Lionel, are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? And also, um, can someone explain to me what the hell that is? What the hell? I mean, I can't tell if that looks like something, or whatever like what the heck is that green thing is that supposed to be there because if it's not supposed to if it's supposed to be there then that just messes up the whole look of the car itself or really at least on the back end but you know with the white but if that's not supposed to be there then what the hell I know what are you doing seriously but again like I said really cool car Like I said, really cool car. Um, you know, I hope they do. I mean, there are a bunch of um, die casts that I would love to see. One of the ones I'm most adamant that we probably won't get in the 164 is Justin Haley's Daytona 5, or not Daytona 500, but Daytona Summer Race um, race win. You know, that was pretty interesting how that all happened but 
I would love to see that in the 164 scale. That's probably the one car I'm at, I'd be asking for the most right now. Uh, who knows? We'll see what happens with the 2020 waves. But, like I said, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I just reached 100 uh, subs. I'm already, you know, past that now. And I'm hoping to continue to grow this channel as I continue to make more content. Not just with this, but other content. And, uh, yeah. So I'll see you all in the next one.